Uh, greetings everyone, my name is Jeevan Devgiri and we have taken the master's course EET 5373 uh, Advanced PLC taught by Dr. Uh, Nathir Ravasde. So thank you so much professor for giving us this opportunity. So let's begin. So uh, let me give you an overview of our project. So our project is a part inspection cell by the human uh, with including uh, PLCs and Fanuc robots. So what we are trying to do is we are inspecting coke cans uh, which will be picked and placed by the robots, put it onto the conveyor belt and then the robot, the third, third robot will either accept or reject the part. Uh, this will all be controlled by a master PLC here and these each individual sensors and the robots will be given information by the master PLC which is then controlled by us with the rung inputs. So this is the control panel which we used to uh, control the whole process. So the initial design was first done using SOLIDWORKS and, and then it was 3D printed using PLA material. As you can see we have used Allen Bradley switches which are hardwired into the input and output modules of the PLC. And on the panel we can see we have an on off switch and then four push buttons which are normally open to push buttons. I will going to explain you about the programs which are built uh, to operate the FANUC robots. So this is our ma uh, main program for robot 1. In this program we have used uh, 3 DI switches which will be called by PLC and it will call bench 1, bench 2 and bench 3 program respectively according to the operator's signal. So bench 1 program is called to uh, pick up the object and place it on the conveyor. Bench 2 program is called to pick up the object and place it on the inspection table and Bench 3 program is called to pick up the object from inspection table to the conveyor. So this is our robot too, which is used to place the object from the end of conveyor to accept our rework station. This is our main program. In this program we have used uh, two DI switches which will be called by PLC and it will call accept and reject program respectively according to the operator's signal. So this is our accept program. This program uh, pick up the object from end of conveyor and place it on the accept pin. This is our reject program. In this program, robot will pick up the object and place it on the rework station. Thank you. So this is the PLC program for this entire cycle. These are the switch. Whenever I switch on this switch, uh, the robot regular cycle will start. This is for this is to take part cycle, this is to give part cycle and the corresponding runs will be activated. Now I have pressed uh, take part cycle, that's why as you can see here. This is the, this is the cycle activated by give part. This is the cycle activated by take part. Now, to record the decision of decision of the quality operator, these are the two switches, accept and reject. This reject switch activates this rung and the decision of the operator is stored into the bit shift array named AR0, AR2 and this is the bit shift left register that we have used. This is the bit shift register. Here you can see the reject uh, signal is recorded and it will index whenever a new part comes at the other at this location. Here you can see it has been indexed. Now in main routine, as you can see, the reject part will be activated. 